challenge. We'll give you a look at the starting grid across the top of your screen as we turn to the storylines of the big GS class. For that, here's Dorsey. Well, Jay Buford cuts his second straight Daytona pole. He set the track record last year. He broke that track record. It's his seventh career pole. From the ST class, Andrew Carbonell and Randy Post. On board the number 46 now with Trent Hinman, the young Floridian, driving with John Edwards. Saw so Jade Buford get a big jump right there. Must have saw the green early. He really jumped the field. Yeah, long he looked to the inside. That's Oshin back in that blue Camaro looking for a way around the outside as they head down into turn one. Very tricky corner complex here. Dalalana there. He's up to fourth in the Turner Motorsports BMW, it looked like. It's the blue and yellow one running what, fourth now. There he's fifth. Very cold racetrack, guys. No doubt about that. It's only 50 some odd degrees out there. First lap, you got to be real careful on this corner in particular. It's very slippery. Yeah, got to get these continental tires up to pressure. Here we see the ST field coming to green. Jeff Mosing on the inside in the orange and black Marillo Racing BMW on his flank, Chad Gilsinger, the gunslinger. And he goes to the outside, Calvin, <laughs> tries to get down into turn one, not going to make his good tuck in the second. Look at Long, he's all over. Buford, oh, oh, oh spin oh, at the back there, I think that's Tim Bell. This is a new team with a Nissan 370. He may have got touched there. Yeah. He went through the hairpin. Well, that's about as harmless an accident as you can have, going all the way around 360 degrees, pointed in the right direction, drop the clutch, and off you go. Here come the leaders. Oshenbach shadowing in that new Z28, sitting in third in the dark blue Camaro, longing to the inside into the break zone. Worked the draft perfectly, stayed behind the Mustang, much wider car, got the run, and pops to the inside, taking that position cleanly. So right. you said it, Dorsey, these are the benchmark of Rumbum Team Bob, and they've gone to the front early. This is a two and a half hour race, and we're seeing a lot of aggressive moves early on. Another feature of the first race of the year. You saw how, how important that draft is on this big super speedway. Watch now, we'll see if the Mustang can pull in on that Porsche. And this is where the error effect really comes into play when you get to these higher speeds. About 160 plus here down the front straightaway, and the Camaro is hanging in there. That punches a big hole, but Aschenbach was looking for a way around the outside. I saw Nick Long, he not give up anything to the inside. He made his intentions clear early that if you're going to pass me, you're going up. will be close. Meanwhile, Buford comes under fire from yeah. Rosatano and a pair of Mustangs. Well, Buford was really surprised that he put that car on the pole. He said the other marks have more speed than us this year, but he said, I just got a good clean lap. Qualifying was red flag, so not everyone got their ultimate speed out of their race cars. But nonetheless, Jade Buford has certainly been very impressive in, in qualifying over the last year or two. Yeah, Real like pressure. I said, last year he uh, he was six poles out of 11 races, so better than 50% of the time he's on the pole. This is 16th running this race, no driver had ever had a repeat pole. And here Buford has done it in back-to-back -back years in two different cars. Last year the Aston Martin, this year the Mustang. to Chris Neville. Well, and Calvin, I spoke with Larry Holt, who's in charge of that Multimatic group, and he echoed the same thoughts that you heard from Jade Buford. And he said, you know, really, when you look at this car, the Boss 302, it's been around. This is its sixth year of racing. So a lot of these other cars out here, very new. Uh, this car, a lot longer in the tooth. So he was surprised at the speed that they were able to lay down in qualifying there. He said they have done a lot of development work with the brakes on this car, because when they initially introduced it, a lot of teams switched over to the Bosch ABS system because the Ford system just wasn't up to par. Now they're back on that Ford system getting ready for the 2015 car.